love him so when he flips that dough he's pizza boy usa what is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2021 ford bronco sport courtesy of bob ruth ford in dillsburg pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so obviously i wanted to hop in this one this is an all new model for the 2021 model year and of course four-wheel drive actually comes standard on every single trim level across the board even the base trim so you gotta absolutely love that especially living here in pennsylvania also there are several unique features on the 2021 bronco sport including the flip up rear glass in the back plenty of easter eggs in this one as well which i'll go over in this video along with everything else to be testing out acceleration braking steering feel all of that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing so as you can imagine there are several different trim levels for the 2021 bronco sport first one being the base trim starting at twenty six thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars then you have big bend for twenty eight thousand three hundred and twenty dollars then there is the outer banks which actually is the one we have today starting at thirty two thousand three hundred and twenty dollars badlands starting at thirty two thousand eight hundred and twenty and then for First edition starting at $38,160. And so, as you can imagine, with all of those trim levels, there are a couple different engine configurations that do come with the Bronco Sport. First one being a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline three cylinder belonging to the base trim, big bend, and outer banks that we have today. This one makes 181 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 190 pound-feet of torque, available at 3,000 RPM. Power sent to all four wheels through an eight-speed automatic. Zero to 60 time is gonna come in at approximately 8.6 seconds for that engine configuration, with MPG numbers coming in at 25 in the city, 28 on the highway, taking regular unleaded fuel. But so then there is the other engine configuration belonging to the Badlands and First Edition trims. That is going to be a two-liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder, 200 150 horsepower, 5,500 RPM, 277 pound-feet of torque, available at 3,000 RPM, sent to all four wheels as always through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters on that one. Zero to 60 time comes in at approximately seven seconds flat with MPG numbers coming in at 21 city, 26 highway. Premium unleaded fuel is recommended. Regular fuel, however, is okay. It's not gonna hurt the engine or anything like that. But before we do any kind of acceleration test here in our Bronco Sport, I did wanna mention, there are of course some driving modes that do come standard on this one and they will include normal eco sport slippery and sand and if you were to go with the badlands or first edition trims it's actually going to add a couple driving modes including mud and rut and also rock crawl as well and ultimately these drive modes are going to adjust things like the steering sensitivity the shift points throttle response and also the traction control settings as well and if you are wondering where that drive mode button or knob is going to be it's located just directly behind the shift dial and it's actually called goat modes not like the animal but like go over any terrain modes that is what it stands for so do not look for a drive mode button look for a goat that is essentially how Ford's doing it here that's kind of cool but anyways now having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and find a straightaway and let's do a quick little acceleration test here in our Bronco Sport here and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right you guys we got somewhat of a straightaway here let's go ahead and come to a stop off we go. Eh, it's not bad. You shouldn't have any issues with getting up to speed. It's definitely not the quickest thing in the world, but then again, I do have the three cylinder today and I bet you that turbocharged four cylinder is going to be a night and day difference. You put 250 horsepower in a vehicle like the Bronco Sport, you're definitely gonna get up to speed quite quickly. But having said that, the three cylinder definitely is not the quickest thing out there, but to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so, of course, you will find four wheel disc brakes coming standard across the board. As far as that braking feel goes, it's fine. Definitely no issues with the braking feel. There's no brake pedal delay or anything like that, so all is good there. Touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna get an independent McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, independent double lateral link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars, also gas pressurized shock absorbers as expected. And so since I'm touching on suspension, I did wanna mention on suspension travel, 7.4 inches up front, 8.1 inches in the back. As far as ground clearance goes, it's actually going to range from 7.8 inches 
to 8.8 .8 inches depending upon the trim level and the tire and the wheel size that you end up going with here so it's going to differ slightly there overall as far as ride quality goes i actually haven't had any issues usually with off-road vehicles sometimes you tend to feel a bit more of the road but i don't mind it whatsoever ride quality is perfectly fine for me steering feel is definitely on point that was one of the first things i said to myself when i first started not on camera of course but steering feel is definitely very nice it's got a very nice weight to it instantly points you in the direction that you want to go we'll definitely say it's on the heavier side so i do appreciate that personally as far as cabin noise goes i will see you tend to hear a little bit more of the wind noise i don't know if it's because of the roof rack we got on this one or the moon roof or whatever it is but you definitely get a decent amount of wind noise more so than some of the other competition in this class i guess but then touching on visibility i can see perfectly fine out the back that is definitely no issues with the Bronco Sport because of its shape you really are not going to have any issues with the Bronco Sport another thing I wanted to mention I can see out the back right now there is a little Bronco Sport Easter egg found on that rear glass so that is pretty cool too so having said that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into the exterior let me show you guys more about the little Easter eggs here and let's find a good spot to park here and let's check out this exterior of our new 2021 Ford Bronco Sport all right so here she is you guys the new 2021 Ford Bronco Sport and actually in my opinion this thing looks dang good especially blacked out here this is a good looking suv anyways let's go ahead and start up front on this one here because that front grille is going to differ pretty substantially depending upon what trim level that you go with for example if you were to go with that base trim level you will get a carbon black front grille with the black bronco badging if you were to go with big bend that's going to give you a carbonized gray with white bronco badging outer banks is going to give you a black row with white lettering that's of course what you guys are looking at right now badlands is going to give you a unique carbonized gray with white lettering and lastly the first edition is going to give you carbonized gray grill with black badging so like i said that front grill is going to differ pretty substantially there so when it comes to those headlights they are halogen headlights for the base and big bend trim levels however they do come with the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark out at night those headlights will turn on automatically for you there including led daytime running lights actually coming standard across the board as well and i love the design to the led daytime running lights they kind of protrude onto the front grille right next to the B and the O lettering in the front there. So definitely a very nice design there. LED fog lights coming with the big bend trim level and up. You guys can see those down below there. You will actually get LED headlights if you were to go with the outer banks that we have today or up. And of course, that's going to provide you much greater illumination at night. So better visibility for you there. Front tow hooks coming with the Badlands and First Edition. Therefore, we do not have them today. But again, overall, definitely a very menacing look here up front especially all blacked out on our bronco sport here also wanted to mention metal skid plates coming with the badlands in first edition as well and of course you will find a matte black front bumper for every single trim level then across the board but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the bronco sport here and so now making our way to the side of the bronco sport roof rails do come standard on every single trim level rear privacy glass on all trims but the base trim level body colored roof is going to come with the base and big bend trims however you will find a shadow black roof coming with the outer banks trim level and up although you really can't tell today because we do have the black exterior anyway so that's kind of cool but anyway safari style roof coming with all trim levels as well that is a pretty cool feature again it's kind of hard to tell with the all black exterior but it's there also wanted to mention this is one of the cool unique features of the bronco sport there is a standard steel roof that comes on this one. Why is this important? Because you can actually climb up onto that roof and it can support up to 600 pounds while parked, by the way. So you can actually make TikTok videos from the roof of your Bronco Sport in the Outer Banks with your Outer Banks trim level of the Bronco Sport. What do you guys think about that? That's pretty cool. Anyways, can handle up to 150 pounds of cargo while driving. Wanted to mention that capacity as well. Also, there is going to be a black C pillar in the back there that's going to kind of give it that sportier look. Again, you can't really tell with the black exterior that we have today. Black door handles coming with the base, big bend, and Badlands trims. Body color door handles coming with the Outer Banks and First Edition. Black door graphics coming with the First Edition trim level only. Front fender accents, you guys can see them up there as well. Then take a look at the side mirrors. They are power adjustable side mirrors coming standard. They will come with the black finish for all trims and they will be heated for the big bend trim level and up. And of course, you guys can see you do have some trim level badging found on the front doors as well. R says outer banks with a wave on it. 
kind of wish I was in the Outer Banks right now because it is in the 30s here in Pennsylvania and I am freezing right now. But anyways, take a look down at the wheel setup. 17 inch silver wheels coming with the base, 18 inch aluminum alloys coming with the big bend and Outer Banks, and 17 inch carbonized gray aluminum alloys coming with the Badlands and first edition trim levels. It's open now making our way to the back of the Bronco Sport. Rear hatch with the integrated brake light will come standard. Bronco Sport lettering, of course, definitely looks good back there with the Ford badging in the lower left hand corner corner kind of looks like a Land Rover back end a little bit maybe it's just me LED taillights coming standard across the board that's always good for a little better illumination at night rear window wiper back there as well another thing I wanted to mention as I get closer up here for you guys when it comes to where that license plate is going to be there is LED license plate lighting back there a lot of times you'll get halogens so I did want to specify that you don't always get LEDs on the license plate lighting so that's pretty cool but we do have the optional tow hooks that is going to be there for you if you guys plan on towing anything but just below it all dual exhaust outlets coming standard across the board kind of tucked away underneath but still they're there but having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip All right, you guys, and so now since we are still around back of the Bronco Sport, when it comes to opening that rear hatch back there, there is a manual lift gate that will come standard on every single trim level. Cool thing about it, there is a couple different ways you could go about opening that manual lift gate. There is a button on the key fob to unlock it. You simply press that twice. Also a button by the driver's left knee, but the most interesting way, you guys will notice when you're around back of this one, there's actually two rubberized buttons on the lift gate itself. And you might be asking, why are there two? Okay, so for one, the one on the right side is to actually open up the full lift gate but the one on the left side is to open up the flip up rear glass and by the way that does come standard on every single trim level so if you had an extra long object or maybe if you were just sitting out there cruising looking at the waves on the outer banks you can actually open up that rear glass and look out the back that way so that is pretty darn cool I love that that's there and again that's on the left side then to actually open up the lift gate itself there's a rubberized button on the right side so that's pretty cool but dual LED floodlights actually also coming standard across the board and that button is actually located within the cargo area so if you press that you have dual LED lighting coming standard on the back side of that lift gate as well for a little added illumination at night on the beach perhaps that's pretty cool also a bottle opener is going to be located by the tail light once the hatch is opened up once the lift gate is opened up so that is pretty dark cold. This is really the ultimate beach vehicle, especially being that this is the Outer Banks trip level that we have today. So gotta be honest, I absolutely love that about this thing. But anyways, cargo capacity comes in at 32.5 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, bumping that up to 65.2 cubic feet. And of course, there's plenty of cargo tie-down anchors back there. There is also LED lighting back there as well. If you were to pull up underneath of the cargo floor, you're gonna find a spare tire back there, which I prefer as opposed to the fix a flat. So love that that's back there as well. There is a 12 volt power outlet back there, pretty much as expected these days. And there is a rubberized cargo floor if you were to go with the big bend trim level and up. So really quite a bit going on back in that cargo area i love the led floodlights back there but now let's make our way to the rear legroom on the bronco sport coming in at 36.9 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i had in the rear seats there you can also find a rear center armrest with cup holders back there there's also a 110 volt power outlet back there as well i was kind of surprised to see that quite honestly Front seat back map pockets is going to come with the big bend trim level and up with the Molly strap system. That is pretty cool. And the interesting part about these pockets, I guess, is you use the zipper to open and close them. So if you don't want something rolling around or if you want to keep something protected, perhaps from the elements, simply put it in there and then you can close up the zipper. So found that pretty cool. I always like unique, different stuff. And that is yet another unique different thing and also sitting in the back seats looking out the back again let me show you guys the easter egg one more time of the old school bronco sport there on the rear lift gate anyways i just think that's cool so a big fan of that and just to specify that molly strap system those little horizontal black straps going on the back part of that front seats those are actually what i'm referring to so you could hook things there like bottles and things like that so 
that's what that is. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the front seats on the Bronco Sport. Manually adjustable cloth seating coming with the base and big bend trims, leather seating coming with the Outer Banks and First Edition, eight-way power driver's seat, six-way power passenger seat. Also with the Outer Banks of First Edition, you're gonna get an eight-way power driver's seat, six-way power adjustable passenger seat, heated front seats as well, which I'm loving today because it's freezing. Also the Bronco logo you can find near the top portion of the seating. I absolutely love that. Cloth seating is gonna come with the Badlands, by the way, and that's still gonna be power adjustable. You're still gonna get heated seats with that as well. Overall, this is where I'm kind of mixed with the seating. The seating is comfortable, I will say that, but the driving position, you sit up super high in this thing. So I am six feet tall. I'm pretty close to hitting the top of this thing. I got a couple inches there, I will say that, but still, I wouldn't have minded if I sat a little bit lower in this thing, just because I feel like I'm really looking up over the gauges and so it's kind of extra effort to look down a little bit more typically with every other vehicle every other suv out there i'm sitting a lot lower so i have a better view of the gauges and the road at the same time but maybe it's different for this because this is more of an off-road vehicle but i will say you are kind of limited as to how low you can put the seating in the Bronco Sport, but still plenty comfortable. But now let's make our way to the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped for the big bend trim level and up, and it will be heated for the outer banks trim level and up then. Then make our way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. It is essentially like every other Ford key out there. Although we'll say you do have Bronco specific lettering on the one side, so that's kind of cool. But lock, unlock, the button to pop the rear hatch, and the times two button in the middle is going to be your remote start, which by the way, comes with the outer banks trim level and up. That's how you're gonna go ahead and get that keyless entry with the push button start though, is going to come with the big bend trim level and up. So actually, let's just do that. I'm gonna put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button, which is located just below the left air vent there. And so, once started up, tachometer is all the way to your left, speedometer is to your right. There is a fairly decent sized digital display front and center, which can be controlled by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side of the steering wheel, giving you a bunch of different things you could check out, including a digital speedometer. There's your average miles per gallon at any given time. There's your audio information, nav navigation information, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. The list goes on and also your outside temperature, which apparently it's 35 today. But anyways, quite a bit you could check out up there. So definitely a fan of that. And by the way, I should mention that gauge cluster is going to differ depending upon the trim level that you go with as well. 4.2 inch digital gauge cluster coming with the base and big bend. But if you were to go with the outer banks and up, you will get a 6.5 inch digital gauge cluster. So this larger digital screen in the middle is going to be much smaller if you were to go with the base and big bend essentially. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. Power moonroof is going to be available with certain package options. It's going to come standard on the first edition. We do have that option though. Automatic climate control coming with the big bend. Dual zone climate control coming with the outer banks. And of course, we do have the dual zone climate control so both driver and passenger can set their own temperatures there. Auto dimming rear view mirror coming with the outer banks trim level and up. Ambient lighting coming with the outer banks trim level and up as well. Wireless phone charger is going to be available with certain package options and is also going to come standard with the first edition. We actually do have that option as well. It's located just in front of the circular shifter there, so it's gonna be there for you. Also like that there's a couple different really unique color options for the interior of the Bronco Sport here, including like a saddle brown color, which is kind of what we have to a certain degree today. There's also a navy blue interior available as well, which I think is pretty darn cool from looking at it in the picture. So a couple different really nice options there. There's a little bit of rubberized storage actually just below the infotainment screen. That's so things will slide around there. Just beside my wireless phone charger here, you got a little more storage, 12 volt power outlet, typical phone charger, USB charger as well. Just behind that, you have dual cup holders. And uh, I guess one of the constructive criticism I think could be improved upon is right around the dual cup holders and all of the uh, shift buttons here and the drive mode buttons. This is all finished in a matte gray plastic. So wouldn't have minded if they maybe added a design to that at least, or made it a gloss black, a little more high end feel to that. But anyways, it's just my personal opinion. And within the center armrest, you have a decent amount of storage in there. I will say that with a USB charging port and yet another phone charging port in there as well also overhead sunglass holder don't want to forget to mention that so definitely a lot of utility with the interior of the bronco sport so we'll say that there's a lot of cool unique features especially in the back seats in the cargo area so for those reasons 
I really like the interior just because it's very practical. But so now anyways, let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display up here. Eight inch colored touchscreen display coming standard across the board, AKA Sync 3 is what this one is going to use. Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. There is a factory navigation system that is going to be optional. We do actually have that option today, so that's pretty nice. And you can of course check out your radio information up there as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound systems, six speakers is going to come with every trim level but the first edition. But having said that, there is a 10 speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system that comes with the first edition that is optional on some of the other trims. We actually do have that today, believe it or not. We have the 10 speaker B&O sound system. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Okay, ridiculous amount of bass. That wasn't even Sirius XM, that was standard on high definition radio and that was an incredible amount of bass on this thing. I will say that plenty of loudness. That was actually a really good sound system for the Bronco Sport. So well done for there. Well done Bang & Olufsen, I should say. But anyways, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display is when you do put the Bronco Sport in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. Also a front view 180 degree camera if you were to go with the Badlands or first edition trim level. So that of course is going to let you know everything behind you and around you. And as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so front side, side curtain airbags do come standard driver's knee airbag up front as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also standard for every single trim level across the board, a pre-collision assist system with automatic emergency braking, that's big, lane keep assist, a blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, as well and again that comes standard even on the base trim level so that's wonderful so overall in the end when it comes to my final thoughts here of the bronco sport great design on this one it's probably first thing i noticed especially in all black that we have here today i love the design of this thing also a lot of fun original design features on this one including that bottle opener and the flood lighting and the cargo tie down system the flip up rear glass and the molly strap system in the rear seats it's it's all very nice and very practical and very unique fun features i guess you could say but badlands is going to be your very capable off-road trim level if that's strictly what you were planning on doing in the bronco sport ambient lighting is pretty cool on this one and overall the fact that the bronco sport has fun trim levels that are specific to really take you to a different place like for example the outer banks it really is a pretty cool feature so when you're driving to work in this thing maybe you get to see the outer banks badging on your bronco sport with the wave on the side of it it really kind of takes you to a different place when you're driving it so i don't know i really really like that kind of relaxes you in the end but overall let me know what you guys think of the Bronco Sport in the comments section. I'm always curious to hear what you guys think. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you want to see what's coming next on the channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.